You know how many times after a Marvel Studios film we learn about some interesting deleted scenes that if they would have been kept in, they would have added something to the film that I think many fans would appreciate? This is not one of those cases. Let's talk about the deleted opening of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness where Wanda kills off Baron Mordo from the MCU permanently. So we've been learning a lot about some of the deleted scenes, ideas, and things that didn't make it into Doctor Strange 2. Now, originally, when it came to major leaks that involved Spider-Man, Shang-Chi Eternals, and Doctor Strange 2, there was one leak that caught a lot of people by surprise, and that was the opening of the film was going to feature Wanda over in her now-destroyed cabin, which of course we end up seeing in Doctor Strange 2. But the opening of the film featured Baron Mordo, the 616 Baron Mordo, who is out hunting people that have powers going after her. He shows up at her cabin, and then she kills him. And he was effectively dead from here on out. There's no more Mordo in the MCU. This was in all the early leaks, and people dismissed it by saying, no, that's stupid. That doesn't work. Why would this happen? Well, we got more details on this recently. And according to a brand new leak, no, this actually happened. She actually beheaded him at the beginning of the film. Like, seconds after he arrives, he's here to collect her powers, and she says, no, you're not, and just beheads him, and Mordo is now dead. And then we would have seen the other version in, obviously, the multiverse. Now, um, look, <laughs> you know, um, I've talked about how much I love Baron Mordo as a character, always gravitated towards me as a character ever since I saw him in the Spider-Man cartoon. That's why I kind of want to learn more about him, and I was so excited to see Mordo in the films, especially with the very talented actor they got, and I was hoping that he would have more to do in the sequel. But again, we got more of Mordo in the sequel, it's just not the version I was hoping for, because I was hoping for the main 616 version to have something to do. I'm glad that they deleted the scene, that he doesn't just outright get killed off, but the fact that they legitimately had this scene done, and it was in the film fully complete with visuals, tells me that they were just ready to kill this character off and never get back to him. That's pure garbage. Like, why? Why would you do that? Like, the character got built up in the first film as... A sympathetic character that you can see from his point of view how he was lied to and cheated out of what he thought was loyalty to suddenly kill him off i'm honestly glad they deleted this scene because it would have served no purpose not to mention it would have been super violent but at least at that point i guess tons of kids could have walked out of the theater with their angry parents which has happened with this film which is crazy but it's just absolutely amazing that this got so far along that they completely shot it and had it in a cut of the film i'm honestly glad that these leaks got out and the backlash towards them was so vocal that they were like yeah maybe we shouldn't kill him off because that's just absolutely stupid oh god damn